Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to uh, be talking about Tunisian crochet and um, what we've got in front of uh, in front of us here is actually what looks looks a hell of a lot like knitting but it's actually crochet, it's actually Tunisian crochet and uh, this is the Tunisian crochet knit stitch which creates this knitting effect and uh, I recently finally got around to picking up some new Tunisian uh, crochet hooks and basically, I can't even get it on cram because it's so long. <laughs> but I picked these up off Amazon actually. Um, but they're actually a set. They come in this very nice. If I can zoom out a little bit, they come in this really nice bag, which I was quite impressed with. And uh, they range from around two millimeter to eight millimeter. And they come in these lovely colours, which is really nice. Um, you can get a different types of Tunisian crochet hooks. Um, you can get the ones which are more like a normal length crochet hook that have the extended sort of almost rubber loose bit on the end with a little nubbin on the end to stop your work coming off. Or you can get the ones that look like knitting needles which are these ones and they're just basically elongated crochet hooks um, with no handles or anything so it's just a smooth like a knitting needle basically. And again they have a little nubbin on the end just to a little bobbin just to stop your work coming off the end. Um, yeah, and like I said, these ones I got on Amazon for about six pounds. Um, I'm not sure how much that is in dollars, but they're quite cheap and they range from around two millimeter up to eight millimeter. And I'm really impressed with them so far. Um, they're aluminium and they're really smooth to work with, so that's good. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be let's just pick a random one for now. Uh, I'll do 5.5. And I'm going to show you how to do the basic Tunisian crochet stitch and also I'm going to teach you how to do the knit stitch as well which is uh, my um, preferred effect with Tunisian crochet. Uh, the first thing to note with, um, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit, the first thing to note with Tunisian crochet um, is that a lot of people ask how many stitches do you chain to begin with and you basically stitch how many you need. It's the, the same amount of chains for the same amount of stitches that you need. So say you need um, a nice rounded number of 30 stitches in your work. You just chain 30 because rather than working with the actual stitches you're actually working with the loops so it sort of adds up a bit different. So the first thing to do is your slip stitch as normal like so. And I'm just going to chain normally, I'm going to chain just as normal about 10 stitches, 10 chains, And the first thing we're going to do is, it's, it's pretty much like a single crochet stitch. Um, but we're going to count this this loop on our crochet hook, we're going to count as our first stitch. And uh, we're actually going to go, but we're going to go into our second stitch from hook as normal. So not this one, the second one. And we're just going to go through and it's technically almost like the beginning of a single crochet stitch. We're just going as normal, grab our yarn and pull up. But we stop there, we don't carry on. Um, putting our yarn over and carrying through, we just leave it there so we end up with two loops on our crochet hook and that's our second stitch. And then we go into our next stitch and just grab our yarn and bring it up and stop there again. And we've got three loops on our hook, so we've got three stitches and that's our third stitch. And we just repeat that along, so into our fourth, grab our yarn and pull up so we have four loops. And then into our next one. <laughs> Grab our next one, bring that up, and we have five stitches, five loops. And we'll just continue that to the end till we've got ten. So that's six. Seven. Eight. And ten, and as you can see, we chained ten, 
and even though we went into our second stitch from hook we still end up with 10 stitches 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 because we, the, the loops on our hook are what we call our stitches we don't need to worry about um, the stitches underneath as it were so when you chain you just chain 10 and you'll end up with 10 stitches even though you're working into the second stitch from hook so I hope that makes sense and the next thing to do is you're just going to work um, just to back along the other way so all we do is we do a, a chain one so we just go through grab our yarn and just go through the first loop at the end okay so we still have two four six eight ten stitches and so we do our chain one and then we do yarn over but this time we go through two loops the next two loops and we come up and then we should have nine left so it's always going down by one but we go through two so we do yarn over and then go through two loops again gradually working our way across again yarn over through two loops again yarn over through two loops again let's get some more yarn yarn over through two loops again yarn over through two loops and we just keep going to the end until we end up with our one loop on our hook as normal so we've got two and then we're back into the world of normal crochet. <laughs> uh, so there we go, and then that's our first stage really for um, most of Tunisian crochet projects. But what we're going to do now, it's where it gets a bit different, is I'm going to teach you how to do the simple Tunisian stitch to begin with. So we'll do a couple of rows of that. And uh, what we're going to do first is this is our first stitch so this is technically always worked we've always got our one stitch so we need to go into our next stitch and rather than in normal crochet we work all around the top here we ignore all that we're actually dealing with these these stitches here as you can see them going across you can see these long pieces of yarn that go across these are the ones we need to deal with so we're going to go under that first loop of yarn grab our yarn and then bring it up so we have two loops on our hook and we're going to carry on to the next one as well so we just find that single piece of yarn that's going up from top from bottom to the top put our hook underneath just catching that one piece of yarn grab our yarn put it through and bring it up so we have three stitches and again just repeat that along we go underneath that loop, grab our yarn, bring it up. Sorry the light quality is not great in this video. It's a bit late in the day. So the next one. Like so. Like so. We've got six loops on our hook. Just on the next piece of yarn, just that single piece of yarn there, just pull our yarn through it, keeping it all quite loose, you don't want to make it too tight. That's the next one. Like so. So we've got three, six and nine. And with the last one, you should still see that single loop just there. You might have to just work it through through the middle like that. Just grab that, bring your yarn up until you've got your 10 stitches again. And there we go, we've finished our first row of just the simple Tunisian crochet stitch. And uh, when we go back along the other way, we do exactly the same. We do our chain one, so that's basically just grabbing our yarn and bringing it through one loop like so, so we've still got 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and then all the other ones is grabbing the yarn and going through two loops so it's the same every time yarn over through two loops yarn over through two loops yarn over two loops always decreasing by one two loops 
two loops, two loops, two loops, and then for the last two, so you end up with one loop back into the world of normal crochet. And there we go. We finished our uh, our next row after that, so exactly the same. And uh, and yeah, if you want to carry on just doing the simple stitch, you just go again. You just ignoring this first loop we go into our second stitch so it's just that single single piece of yarn again we just hook our hook underneath that grab our yarn and bring it up and then don't complete any stitches we just want to stop there and leave the uh, the yarn on the hook again going through the next length of yarn just grabbing the yarn putting it through so we have three three loops and as you can see, all these stitches are here. Grab the yarn, bring it up. It's just making sure you're just catching that single piece of yarn, just that one stitch. You want to be working behind. You don't want to grab anything else. up to the the last stitch and then you might just have to again work just work it through you find it and then that's our our last stitch and we've done our next row of the simple stitch going across and uh, again just coming back the other way it's always the same we just do the little technical technically a chain one so we're just going through the one loop and then we do yarn over and then we're going through two loops through two loops. You never turn your work when you're doing Tunisian crochet you're just working backwards and forwards and your work's always facing the same direction so through two loops Let's grab more yarn two loops two loops with two loops and there we go completed our next set and then uh, what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how to do the Tunisian crochet knit stitch which is my favorite and uh, it's a little bit different but um, again this is our first stitch already so we ignore this one here because we've already technically worked our first stitch so we do go behind the same the same piece of yarn as the normal simple stitch but this time I'm going to go behind and then we're going to go through to the back like so we're just going to go through to the back so I'll show you that again so you've got your first stitch on on your hook already so you're going to work behind this one so you go behind that stitch as normal but instead of grabbing the yarn from here and bring it up we're going to go through to the back and you can see the gap there if my camera wants to focus you can see the gap just appearing, you just put your hook through through there, out the other side and grab it from the back and bring it up underneath that stitch as well so you've got two loops like so and the next one we just grab the stitch as normal, go behind that one as normal but we go to the back and grab our yarn and sneak it out from behind that stitch as well and up so it's very similar to the, the simple stitch and instead of just going from one side to the other and staying at the front like so and grabbing our yarn we're going to the back through that gap there you can see to the back and we're grabbing our yarn back through but also back behind that stitch as well and then just keeping it on our hook and as you can see you can see the sort of knit stitches starting to appear so I'll just continue that across so we go behind that stitch but to the back grab our yarn, bring it through and through that stitch as well and keeping it on our hook so we're going very orangey, changing colours <laughs> sorry the lighting's quite poor so to the back behind that stitch so go behind that stitch as normal but to the back behind the next stitch to the back for that gap 
It should, it should flow when you do the um, Tunisian stitching of where to go through to the back. Okay, so as you get to the last stitch, so you can see your, your single piece of yarn there, we just put our hook through and there isn't really anywhere to go to the back so we just grab it as normal and bring it up so we've got our tenth stitch like so. You can see all those knit stitches starting to appear. And as we're going to go back the other way we do the same as before, we do our chain one or just technically bring our yarn through one loop so we've still got ten and then yarn over and then it's through two two loops. So you've got nine, yarn over for the next two, yarn over for the next two, yarn over the next two, yarn over the next two, yarn over for the next two. And then for the last two, like so. So uh, I'll show you that again, the knit stitch again. So we've already got our first stitch, which is our on our hook already. So we're looking for the uh, the second stitch. So it's not this one here. We're going to work this second one here. So we put our hook behind that as if we're doing a normal stitch. But we're going to go for that gap there, if you can see, to the back. And grab our yarn and bring it up behind that stitch. So we go behind that front stitch to the back for the gap, grab our yarn and bring it back round behind that stitch again. So we go behind that stitch to the back, bring it back round behind that stitch as well. So we've got four, so then we find our next stitch, go behind that to the back, come back through up behind that stitch again. So we have five stitches and just continue that across. And then when you get to the last stitch, you just go through go behind that stitch and through and then don't obviously you can't go to the back so you just grab the yarn and bring it up and there we have our 10 stitches and then as we go back the other way we just do our technically our chain one but just bring it through the first loop so we still have 10 loops on the hook then we do yarn over and through through two I'm just going to grab some more yarn yarn over and through two Yarn over and through two, yarn over and through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Just repeat that until you just have the one, one loop on your hook. And back into the world of normal crochet. <laughs> and there we go. And so there we have it. If I show you there you've got the knit stitching really starting to appear and obviously when you've gone back the other way it looks like you're losing it but as soon as you go back doing the knit stitch the other way it brings out that lovely knitted sort of feature there so as you can see here these rows here this simple Tunisian crochet where we just went behind the front loop and kept it all at the front and grabbed our yarn and this is the knit stitch where we do still go behind that stitch but we go to the back and grab the yarn and bring it up and then behind that stitch and just repeating that creates the uh, knit stitch and if you if I show you here this is just the knit stitch worked which we did here and I've just done some ribbing um, not ribbing, different uh, rows of colors just alternated at the end and it just literally looks like knitting even on the back it looks identical to knitting it's amazing so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that a little quick tutorial to Tunisian crochet. I'll do a more detailed video when I got more time and um, yeah so definitely give it a go it's really good fun and um, yeah you can just get pick these up really easily on Amazon they're quite cheap 
just these sort of knitting needle versions of crochet hooks but you can technically use normal crochet hooks as long as they have the smooth smooth sort of finish like that so you can just work obviously lots of stitches on there um, but you're always going to be limited to how many you can work um, but these are great just for doing a, a fairly small baby blanket and if you want to work on bigger, bigger projects obviously you can get the crochet hooks that have the the rubber extended um, bit on on the end of the crochet hook but um, yeah give it a go let me know how you get on and uh, I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun okay bye